Hey boys and girls, good to see you all on this fine Easter holiday. Um, just a quick one because I'm um, busy with kids and what have you. So I'd squeeze this in this morning. Um, I got something for a friend of mine. Uh, he's been wanting one for a long time and it is a Merusian 8mm gas blowback auto mag. You might have seen my pictures on the old Instagram. Now, I was very curious about the thing myself and how it felt and looked and the rest of it. So I thought I'd show you it all. So here it is. It really is a thing to behold. It's really well detailed as you'd uh, expect of any high-end Japanese manufacturer. It is an ABS body, but the finish on it is, well, it's fantastic. Really nice finish on it. Um, the metal parts are a little roughly cast. There's sort of, it's not, not as, as you would find on real stuff, but you know, it's an airsoft gun. Rear sight is adjustable for, for windage, left and right and, and up and down. Um, weight wise it is it is got a good weight in hand for its size it's probably a little underweighted I'd say but it's good it's got it's got a fair amount of monkey metal inside there and inside the gun I'll show you that in a second because it's, it's quite easy to strip um, the grips are a little underwhelming I'll say that um, Tokyo Mari do a better job of the sort of the wooden style plastic grips this is almost looks like a sort of a dark dark brown plastic with kind of dark streaks kind of painted on it hasn't got that depth of texture to the to the wood and different sort of shades of brown running through it as you'd, you'd find in a in a real piece of wood um trades uh, are all there and very Nicely done they are. Uh, it has got the uh, Merusian trade on, on this side, just here. Has got a few uh, sort of casting marks, but they're, they're not the most obvious. Uh, you don't see them on the, the barrel so much. There's maybe sort of slightly a bit on the front. Um, but as I said, it, it's not, you know, you have to really look to, to find them. Um, as I said, it's gas blowback and does lock back on empty. Safety is just here. Safety will, I think, yeah, oh no, the safety does engage without the hammer back. But, oh yeah, but it won't cock with, with the safety up. So you make sure it's down. And that's your safety there. Um, magazine which does actually give it a lot of its weight uh, it holds 10 bbs let's put the plate on it there rather than usual it extends out the back as well uh, when you insert the mag i find it stops there i think when it engages against the mag catch it catches on one side you, i'm not going to do anything with it because it's not my gun to mess around with but if you just took a shave off, off this side, I reckon it would go in a lot smoother. But what I find is it's easier if you just press down on the mag catch to reinsert it. Um, as well, when you get it reinserted, you have to give it a good push just to make sure. You can't just be slapdash. Well, I was slapdash then, but I did find when I've used it before, it has a tendency not to fully engage if you don't really give it a good push. Um, I have test fired it. I'm not sure of what the weight, the BBs that they put in the box with it. I'm assuming they do what a lot of companies do and just stick you the lightest weight that they do in. Uh, and from looking about the lightest weight, eight mils that they do are two sevens. So I've shot a couple of two sevens through this. Uh, I started out because I wanted to be cautious once again not being my gun on Avi Predator 
uh, and it was getting to the end of the can as well and it did have a tendency not to lock back uh, on the Abbey, Abbey Predator because it wasn't getting a good full cycle um, but I, I think because I've only just stuck a few round, a couple of rounds through it, um, it um, the hop isn't working at 100% yet. Uh, but as far as I could tell, it was chucking the two sevens out, and I haven't even adjusted the hop. It has got an adjustable hop in this thing. It was chucking the two sevens out about 30 meters ish, um, not super accurately either. But like I say, it's probably still got oil and stuff inside the gun which they often do and, and that'll be throwing the hop off i think it just needs a nice nice run in this gun to actually get get the hop really working properly to give it its full test out but i'm not the person to do that and um because it's not mine and uh, uh as well yeah i just you know i don't want to do too much with it um so i'll just show you the the stripping Okay, now you have a little takedown lever which is here, which you push down, and the whole top comes off. Um, here you'll notice on this side one of the, the molding marks that I was talking about just there. But like I say, nothing major. Another little molding mark just down here. Little spot. So that, that's your upper there. It does have a large monkey metal piece which harnesses the barrel and everything. And there's the the hop adjustment just in the bottom there. Uh, and this the whole bolt piece in here. This is all metal. Just lock it back. And then this is the, the housing around the, the blowback. The blowback nozzle is just inside there. Um, that is ABS. And then it has uh, <coughs> sort of a, the runner piece down at the bottom. That's metal as well. It has a high metal content inside it, which obviously gives it its, uh, gives it its weight. So it's fairly easy just to oops, lined up. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, there we go. And then you just have to raise the rear sight just to get over that rear piece there. And you're back on and you flick the switch back up. So there we go. Very cool piece of kit. Um, one thing that immediately immediately struck me when I pulled this out of the box was I have had a hold of TM's Automag Springer and that is approximately 27 centimetres long so I was fooled into thinking that was a 1-1 scale but it's not uh, this is and as you can see it is it's, it's over a foot long it's about 34 centimeters in total it's a big old beast a very big old beast you can get this in a black finish as well and that's a heavyweight version but it's only a hundred extra grams so it's not a massive amount more weight um, this just looks flashy as hell, um, and, uh, hence why my mate wanted the silver one. He, he always wanted the silver one, so that's what I'd have got for him. Um, uh, one thing I did notice, in the back of these grip panels, there is space in there, uh, like I do with my, my springers, which I've, I've shown you before, to get a couple of strips of lead, and because there's sort of a support beam down the centre, and you could get a couple of strips of lead up there, a couple up there, and it would probably add that. 100 grams, maybe more, uh, onto uh, the weight. So it's the same weight as the heavy weight if you wanted to get the uh, stainless finish and have the weight as well. Um, I'm not sure if it would take real steel grips or not, but 
imagine it getting real steel grips for, for these things is probably not that easy. So yeah, a very cool gun indeed. As always, I thank you for watching and have a good Easter. Don't eat too much chocolate. Cheers guys.